Welcome back, Hordlings, to more Book of Unwritten Tales to Ski. A notebook with some notes on the lost city of Laura Mipsum. Check that shit out, man. Hmm, what's this? The author seems to assign great meaning to these hieroglyphs. Hmm, if only I could read them. Why didn't the people back then just write under the pictures what they were supposed to mean? We need to translate this stuff. I wonder whether... here. That's what I was looking for. You know, I haven't been uploading very many videos Let's lately. You'll have to excuse me. Mean. The first one is... Hmm, a kind of angular stone? Uh, my I had a birthday recently, as most of you know, or some of you anyways. A couple weeks ago, and I've just been kind of running around with family, doing a lot of family and... Uh, Going out a lot at night, yes. It's living the life of a single man. It's, it's been interesting. Maybe someday I'll share some of the stories I've had with you. There. Hmm. It isn't. That? Nah. Gemstones. Jewels. That's a promising start. The second symbol. Desert. Yeah, makes sense. The city is somewhere in the Amzu Desert. Next. Feet? What have feet got to do with it? Can you only reach the city by foot? The next symbol. Three. Three feet. That's unusual. Perhaps the last symbol will make it clear. Following these symbols right here. Mountains. Jewels. Desert. Mountains. The jewel of the desert at the foot of the three mountains. That's it. Lorem Ipsum. The city with roofs of gold is the jewel of the desert and it lies at the foot of three mountains. And these three mountains must be west of Bremen. That should be easy to find. Once I'm done with the... Uh... Book of Under and Tales, I'm going to jump right back into Divinity. And try to finish that. And then try to finish some Wasteland. And try to clean up some other of my leftover messes. And then I'll start jumping into some new stuff, but... My main goal is to finish what I've started at this point. Still have a couple co-ops that I need to finish with Mr. Drain and Mr. Uh, Mr. Fucking Jacksaw. The Borderlands and Gauntlet. So far behind. All right, then. Just recently, looks like I passed 8,000 subscribers, so thank you all for sticking around and waiting for me to get through my trials and tribulations of the single life. I'm going to try to upload some more videos here. I have the next two days off, so don't have much planned. I'm going to try to get this finished and get some more divinity done. That's the old oasis of Bremen. Ivo's father set off westwards from this town and reached Laura Mipsum at some point. The problem is, I don't know how far west of Bremen the ruins are. The area is large, and if I'm unlucky, the ruins are completely covered in sand. I have to reduce the search area somehow. Mountains west of Bremen. I bet critters next meal that the jewel of the desert is at the foot of these mountains. I'll mark the place on the big map.
There hasn't Let's been an airship there. visiting Laura Mipsum for centuries, perhaps millennia, if ever. Time to pay a call to the old city. That must be it. Lorem Ipsum. And it looks like someone has already dug it up for us. Look at that cute little mummy. A uh, mummy with a small spade. I wonder. Mortimer. Um, no, I'm Nate. That's Critter. But I seek Mortimer. Here? Under the sand? Why aren't you Mortimer? I, um, don't know. Who are you? I am... Um... Isn't the question more, who are you? I'm Nate, like I already said. So you are neither Mortimer, nor that elf who was pretending to be Mortimer. That... yes, I can confirm that. So many people. I can't possibly remember all these names. I will call you... Hmm, Nate. I can live with that. Who is this Mortimer you're looking for? Mortimer fetched me out of the darkness many years ago. I lived with him until he disappeared. And now you're looking for him here? Looking for whom? That Mortimer. You've seen him? I've been looking for him everywhere. Don't tell me you dug this huge hole. All right. Um, I mean, why did you dig it? I'm not meant to say. You... you can tell me. What's the hole all about? Yes, about that. Why did you dig it? I... didn't. You did. Of course. I wanted to go home. So, you're from Lorem Ipsum? Yes. It must be here somewhere. Have you... have you had a look around? Ah! Lorem Ipsum! What a coincidence! I was born here, you know. I think this mummy's brain is dust. What can you tell me about Lorem Ipsum? What was life here like? Oh, wonderful. We've always had good weather. We built the most beautiful temples, with the most fiendish traps. Sold them all around the world, and made a lot of money from that. You sold temples with built-in traps? Of course. Walls that suddenly come together and squash any intruder, invented here in Lord Ipsum. We had breeding programs for scorpions and tarantulas. And we issued a 3,000-year guarantee for our traps. That means your traps could still work today. Traps? What traps? I'm looking for a book. I've seen one lying on Mortimer's desk. I'm looking for a particular book. The Book of the Dead. Oh, but that's just a legend. That book, apparently, explains how one can bestow everlasting life on people by wrapping them up in gauze bandages. <laughs> Assuming it wasn't a legend, where would the Book of the Dead be hidden? Ah, the Book of the Dead. Hmm. Some say it is mere legend, but I have seen it many times. It was put into Klaatu, the tomb of the Rata. last pharaoh, <laughs> Lord M. Ipsum, the mad Tut Tut. And this Tut Tut, where is he buried? He is lying under a mighty pyramid, just like that one over there. Actually, now that I think about it, 
It's exactly like the one over there. Hmm. What do you think? Why would someone put a pyramid here that looks exactly the same as Tut Tut's? How do you get into Tut Tut's pyramid? Who is Tut Tut? And what's this pyramid you're talking about? Ah, forget it. What should I forget? Don't mummies have their brains removed during embalmment? Mm, that's funny. I could swear that I've heard that question somewhere before. I bet. I've got to go. And you? You might want to get out of the sun for a couple of hours. I've not got time for breaks. I'm looking for a pyramid. It must be here somewhere. Alrighty. Hmm. The whole slab is covered with characters. Hieroglyphs, something that looks like old dwarvish, and normal letters. At vero eos et accusum et justo duo dolores et ea ribum. That's the same forgotten language as in the lorem ipsum text. Hi. Who? Who are you? And what are you doing here? Holy shit. This is one dumb fucking mummy. I found this stone slab. What does it say? I kick him right in his dusty sack. It says... Thank you for your decision to buy this pyramid model World Wonder in three languages. It's... it's an operating manual? Our lost temples could get rather complicated. Does it say how to open the pyramid? Terms of use, guarantee, washing instructions... Ah, there. Erect pyramid. Facing exactly north. Position obelisk A in depression G on stone socket B with the help of wooden peg F. We recommend the use of slaves for erection. Not included in this delivery. Every day at three o'clock in the afternoon, the shadow of the obelisk will point to the stone which opens the secret entrance. Why doesn't it just say which stone you have to press? Who would write something like this? I've got to go. Bye! <laughs> the fuck? Bye! Oh, man. I guess that's the obelisk mentioned in the operating manual. At least, I can't see another one. A semicircular depression. There are lines and numbers carved into the stone on the inside. Perhaps... some kind of calculation? Or something religious? I can't imagine the whole pyramid was covered in sand. In that case, all this must have been more than 100 meters under the floor of the desert. Massive stone plinth with a piece of rotten wood in the middle. Hi. I think that we've met once before, haven't we? The operating manual mentions something about a wooden pin, and there's some rotten wood still sticking in the hole in the stone plinth. Yes, we always had issues with the wooden pegs. Wood is easy to craft, 
but not as long-lasting as stone. I discovered something completely new in Mortimer's hut. Metal. Metal? Yes, but not bronze. Much harder. Much more durable. I called it ugly super bronze. I brought a sample of it with me. About the ugly super bronze. The what? The metal you found in Mortimer's house. Who told you about that? Ah. <laughs> One could build completely this new types of weapons game. with this metal. Wood and bronze weapons would be useless. No one must find out until Lord M. Ipsum has mastered the secrets of this material. It is I, Pharaoh Tut Tut. Huh? The Pharaoh? Yes, and I command you to give me the metal sample. Wait a moment. The Pharaoh looked completely different to you. Uh, it's been a long time since we saw each other last. He's taller than you, and last time I saw him, he was dead. I have to go. Hi. Oh, hello. You're right. Let's examine the metal for the good of Lorem Ipsum. Absolutely. If we should ever get lazy and start to rest on our laurels, it could result in the town's downfall. We, uh, wouldn't want that to happen. No. Wait here. Where'd he go? What was I going to fetch again? Hmm. <laughs> I was just pulling your leg. I never forget anything. Thank you. What for? I've got to go. Bye. It's like a glove. If the pipe fits the hole in the plinth exactly, then it'll also fit to the hole in the obelisk. If the pipe fits the hole in the plinth exactly, then it'll also fit to the hole in the obelisk. No idea what that is. The sand has protected the statues over the millennia. If they'd been exposed to the wind, there'd be nothing left of them but sand. Semicircular depression. There are lines and numbers, perhaps. Uh, might have to talk to Mummy Man about it. I. This depression here. What is it? 
That is a sun clock. Why does the sun need to know what time it is? No. The sun tells us how late it is. So how does the sun know what time it is? Haven't a clue. The shadow of the little stick in the middle tells us for definite when it is time to, um, do things. There is no stick in the middle of the clock. It must have been broken then. I think more has been broken too. Didn't it look completely different here before? So I should put obelisk B onto slab F, or something like that. What are you talking about? The instructions. At three o'clock, the shadow of the obelisk, uh... Why are you always saying things that don't make any sense? It's very irritating. Anyway, one also needs a bicycle, has to put two into the left-hand column, and then wait until the whole thing has been well roasted. I've got to go. Bye. All right, let's try this again. There we go. The reed casts a thin shadow on the numbers and lines inside the clock. And we'll just tidy tie that onto the obelisk. The Mary should have enough power to heave the obelisk onto the plinth. And the pipe serves as the new connection piece K, or whatever it was. Off we go! Pull, my dear old fatty! I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Come on, you can do it! All right. Now slowly... Ah! Well done, Mary. Did you ever doubt me, little one? Okay. It's quarter past two... Um, three o'clock. The obelisk is casting its shadow exactly on that stone. That must be it. That's it! Boom shakalaka! Let's go. If I were you, I wouldn't go in there. Traps. Lots of traps. Mortimer just about managed it. And Mortimer is... Oh, Mortimer. He was in the pyramids? Of course. He is an archaeologist. They always go wherever there are the most traps. Do you know how the traps in there work? Naturally. I even invented some myself. I am an engigner, I think. How about you accompany us? In there? It's dangerous. Come on, I thought Danger was your middle name. Really? That would be a strange middle name. Walter or Winifred, those are good names. Mortimer's second name is Alfred. Come on now, get in that pyramid. In there? It's dangerous in there. It's important. 
We need the Book of the Dead to bring a friend back into this world, and he might know something about a great evil that's stirring. It's like my dear old father used to say. Coyote, snake, bird looking to the left, sun, sun, wavy lines, exclamation mark. Uh, what? Yes, he was very erudite. And you wouldn't have caught him simply wandering into a pyramid filled with traps. We really shouldn't go into the pyramid unprepared. Oh, come on. Danger is my middle name. And it's important. Great evil is stirring. What? You can't let me go in there on my own. You have to come in with me. Okay, if that's how it's gotta be. <laughs> I win every argument. It's always been so. Put me on your shoulders. Do I have to? Hop, hop. We have 40 days in the desert ahead of us. We're going into the pyramid. Which pyramid? Hey, stop puffing and panting in my ear. I'm not panting. I'm exhaling dramatically. Onwards, my proud camel! <laughs> I got a mummy backpack. Nice little place. Bases, cat statues, wooden chair? Why is there only junk here and no treasure? What use are treasures to you on the other side? At least you can sit on a chair. As a real Tomb Raider, I have to at least take something. What about this? An ancient mirror, I'd say. You can't take that. That is the first mirror that was ever made. And? Pharaoh Tut Tut was very particular about his appearance. He needs the mirror. Not anymore. I'm quite sure of that. No. Those are valuable grave goods. The Pharaoh should not have to want for anything in the next world. Seeds? Just in case there's a famine in the next world. I got it, some seeds. A press for olive oil or something like that. I'd rather relax than work in the afterlife. The Pharaoh naturally would never operate the equipment himself. Hundreds of his most loyal slaves were buried with him. Hm, I don't see any bones. I guess the slaves had a bit of a rethink about their loyalty after the Pharaoh died. You can't see your hands in front of your face. So what? Get in there, chop chop. There's no way I'm going into a pitch black room. I have never had such a stubborn camel. And you're very uncomfortable as well. There are some nasty looking spikes waiting at the bottom of the pitfall, and some scarab beetles are scurrying around between them. I would suggest that we don't fall into that pit, then. Even if I get over this pitfall, the stone ball is blocking my way. The ball should only block the entrance to the tomb in an emergency. I guess Mortimer triggered the trap when he was here. Listen, Shorty, I've got something I need to take care of outside. I'll set you down here and take you with me when I come back. Very well. Alright, we have some other places to visit here before According we to follow up with our descent into the Egyptian depths of death and traps and shit.
All right, then. Cast off. Let's go to oh, Tugatoa. Nope, me neither. I think we all know who's responsible for that. <laughs> you stay here. Prepare the cannons and be ready to rescue me if necessary. <laughs> The damned elf immediately. There's no damned elf here. Get lost. All right, folks, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more Book of Unwritten Tales 2.